Looks like we got ourselves a couple boxes here. These came from Huck's Racing. And all I was told is that they sent us a little kind of celebration package for hitting the seven. So we're gonna go ahead and see what we got in here. Looks like we got it straight from Amazon. Prime delivery. <laughs> boxes and boxes, yep, baby. Double boxed. Oh yeah, this is heavy. Yeah, that one's got some weight to it. I thought it was gonna be some like snacks because right. they sent some <laughs> snacks in the last orders, like Oreos and stuff, but that is like... not food. <laughs> that is heavy. There's definitely, wait. There's something liquid in there. Is it a case of teas and monsters? <laughs> oh, it could <laughs> that be. That's kind of my thought. It might be actually. <laughs> so maybe it is still snacks. Oh, <laughs> yup. <laughs> there we yes, go, dude. dude. Whole, okay. what is that, a 24 pack or even more? Monster, <laughs> three, four, six, yep, 24 pack of monster. Jeez. <laughs> From uh, Eric and Renee, thank you. So then they know how to take care of their people. Yep, a little <laughs> celebration package. This one's not as heavy. So then maybe this is the snacks. I bet you that one's snacky snacks. <laughs> We're gonna be eating good tonight, boy. We're gonna be eating, eating not good tonight. <laughs> Some junk food, but oh yeah. Ooh, a whole, whole bunch of snacks, food. dude. Some snacks and monster energies. Oh, we got even, we got a little Scooby snacks, dude. They got a whole care package, dude. <laughs> Look, airheads. We got a bit of everything in there, dude. Oh, dude, the fudge stripes. Oh. Awesome. Big shout out to the guys over at Huck's Racing. Thank you, Renee. Um, yeah, we're uh, super pumped on that. So, yeah. little Thank celebration you for the care box. package and the parts. Yeah, to happen. Yeah, those the the control arms, the motor mounts, the wheel speed sensors. Might be missing some other stuff. The mid plate, you know, all from Huck's Racing. So we were able to put it all to work and make it work. So like I said, they were. You guys saw in that last video, Huck's Racing was the first company to ever, you know, work with us, and they sent me mounts to uh, do the original case swap in the car. And it's just crazy to see how far it's come. Heck yeah, yeah. Big thanks to them, dude. Let's, yeah. uh, you gonna chug one of these? Dude. Hey, that last video is not at 50k likes yet, but it's on its way there, so like 45, and I was gonna do it regardless. <laughs> so that means I think you need to go grab yourself a tea. I'm gonna grab a tea, you're gonna grab a monster. Yep. We're gonna do this. This works out perfect, so we don't have to go to the gas station <laughs> to get real. one. And they're kind of warm, we can't do cold. Yeah, cold stings a little. I can't shotgun a full cold monster. And that's, that's more than just your average can. You know, I've done it. This will be my fourth one. They're they're not fun. It's really not. I need a bigger hole. But for you guys, go down faster. <laughs> you know, got to do it in typical Kyle fashion. Yep. We got some spare drywall over do there too. We have too. some drywall. We do, bro. All right. <laughs> Trying to celebrate. That's what we need right there is a monster sponsorship. Hit us up, dude. <laughs> for real. Write some emails, guys. And some twisted teeth. Be like Kyle Booster Boys. Get them on the monster team. Yeah, some teas for Wyatt. <laughs> yep. That'd be funny. Set. Awesome. Here's some snacky snacks in celebration of not only the world record, but being the first MR2 in the sevens. It's been an awesome journey with you guys as your first sponsor. We couldn't be prouder from Huck's Racing. Nice. Cheers. Ready? Got your, your tea? Yes, sir. <laughs> that tall boy Ooh. hits different, huh? There you go, boys. Cheers. Hell yeah, dude. Buddy, she sounds good. She's still running strong. She sounds bent. Ready to go again. That's weird. Fired right up with the prime deal. Yeah, once we uh, yeah. primed the pump the uh, night we got back from the track, seems fine. Yeah. So Haven't had any issues with it Fires right up again. The pump lost its pressure somehow. We were talking to some people that we might have an issue with the pump in the future with the stock valve cover because there is some like vibrations going on. So that could be part of the reason. But other than that, sounds healthy. She's ready to rip again. Freaking awesome. But I wanted to talk about something real quick. So we're uh, we're not gonna do a seven again in the car for uh, quite some time. We may 
do some eighth mile testing if the car is not down or maybe turn it down some and keep it a little slower and just go have some fun with it. We definitely had some comments about the roll cage in the car and it is a 10 point roll cage which is only started to 8.5 so we broke cert three times now because we went in 8.3, 8.1 and then a 7.9 and we do need to get the cage upgraded in the car. We did see a lot of comments about it. Some of you guys were you know, egging us on about doing that. We just knew if we were to take the car apart to do the cage, that was gonna be another probably couple month process because the cage we need to do in this thing uh, is definitely gonna take some time. We need to do like a 25.5 in the cage or 20, I don't, we gotta get the right number, I might be wrong, yeah. but it's the cage with the funny car hoop and everything. Uh, to do that, we're probably going to have to cut the whole bottom of the floor out of the car, weld the cage kind of on the ground and stuff it up into the car to make it easier. I don't know, we've been, uh, discussing different ways to do it, but long story short, it's going to take a very long time for us to cut this old roll cage out because uh, we could add bars to the current cage, but it's going to be so much more difficult to do that. It's going to be way easier and probably just come out better if we go ahead and start over from scratch, cut this one out, and do a couple things a little differently. So we're going to have you know days of cutting this out, days of cutting the floor out, and then weeks and months of building a new cage for this thing to stuff it up back in there and put a floor back on the car and get it ready to go again so Build, building the cage the easy part it's like planning everything out so that you incorporate it into the chassis good and like yeah we, we want to do it takes the we want to do the cage legit so it's going to be down for quite some time until it does another seven again like i said we could go out and test it and let out and we'll be fine um but we are getting ready to take it all the way back apart again we just wanted to get that seven out of the way because you know once we're the first to the sevens no one else can uh take that from us so now that we got that out of the way the car can actually sit you know we're not stressing out about getting it to the track as fast as we can we're not stressed about finishing it because we did what we wanted to do and now we can calm down a little bit take our time upgrade that cage and uh work on a couple other little things and then bring it back to the track hopefully you know a few months from now and really get this thing dialed in and go for a deeper seven once we have the cage that will allow us to do that. But that's the only thing holding us back is the cage. And then we also wanna get some, uh, probably some beadlock wheels because we're starting to go very fast and we should get some proper beadlocks so we don't possibly debead a tire at high speeds. It's another thing that we need to look into. But a couple little things here and there. She did the seven and that's it. So got some upgrades to make on the car and just wanna let you guys know that we are gonna be starting on the cage hopefully soon. And no more sevens, guys, unfortunately. Yeah. So Maybe some eighth mile testing, because I was thinking about it the other day. We are going into, like, racing season in Florida, so we could dial in the eighth mile instead of have it sitting. Yeah, yeah, we could do eighth mile stuff and just let out, like I said. But yeah. it just see, it just it's going to depend where we're at. It would be nice to drop it off somewhere and just have them knock out a cage for right. us, because, <laughs> you know, me and Wyatt doing it, it's going to take a lot of time and effort. But doing a cage of that magnitude is very expensive and we can learn a lot doing it ourselves and save a lot doing it ourselves. Take it from me, so, that thing takes a minute to do. <laughs> yeah, well I did one on his truck, Hayden's done one in his car. It's uh, There's a lot of work that goes into them. Even a 10 point, they freaking suck, but um, it has to get done. The car is now faster than the cage uh, is certified to go. So, yep, that's coming up, but she did it. Yep. So, done and over with. We, you know, didn't wreck the car. That's the only thing we we've been chasing. We didn't man. need to use the roll cage, luckily, so we're good. Right. Thanks, son. <laughs> we're gonna have to get ourselves a new shoot bag. Yep. Looks like that whole. Uh, she didn't fare too well on that last it all run. the way through. Maybe it was when it was opening. We were, we were gonna pull the car out so we could repack the chute, but we saw that the bag was. Uh, yeah. A big old hole in there. I know they make the fireproof bags that are all chromed out, so we'll probably switch it to that. But it is yeah. pretty close to the exhaust. It held on for a while. This side's fine. There's no hole or Nothing. any signs of burn on this side, and it's the same exact. Uh, well, another thing I was thinking of too is now that this exhaust is so much easier to pull out, I almost wonder if we could add a little bit more to this angle. It's a little more curve. Yeah, because like we could still probably pull the exhaust out, and then it kind of get it away from there a little more. Yeah, honestly, I'm pretty. Well, I think the issue is, I think it's fine because I think that melt started before I had the tips on the old setup because mm -hmm. I ran the car a while. Just with the straight tips gotcha. and it burned it. And on two step. <laughs> yeah, and on the two step and everything. And then considering this side's so good now, I feel like if we get one of the new fireproof bags, I don't think we'll have an issue. Yeah, probably not. Because I really do like the angle. I feel like if we start adding more, it's gonna start to look funny. Right. I think that just looks clean. So I say we try 
trying get, to bag. Yeah, it's the same out of uh, yeah, it's just the same heat material proof as this. Or the heat wrap stuff. Yeah, it's the same chrome stuff. The whole bag is made out of that, and then we should have no issues there. Yeah. Another thing I was worried about with the carbon trunk, we didn't have time to. Uh, oh, she's still latched. Yeah, I accidentally pushed down on it. <laughs> we were gonna put some like heat shielding right here because I didn't know if it would get too hot, but looks like yeah. we're, we're good. Looks fine. Carbon trunk didn't get hurt at all. Maybe in the future do some of that gold tape just just because, but yeah, I think it'll be all right without it. Yeah, that's good. So light. Yeah. Get a cage and she's ready to go again. Yep. That and a drag wing. Yes, and a wing. Yeah. For sure. A few things it needs. But for the most part, she's solid, dude. So since we ran the 7 and the MR2, we are actually getting ready to head out this weekend to the 1320 video ice cream cruise. Uh, we did not know that we were going to hit the 7 so soon, and our plan was that if we got really close, you know, like deep 8s, that we would be busy with the MR2 and we were going to stay here and try to take the car back out uh, this coming weekend and just keep testing until we could shoot for that 7, but that is out of the way. So we have actually uh, been working on getting the Routacy and the NSX ready to go to Nebraska this weekend for the ice cream cruise. So we've made a couple changes to the Routacy. Uh, I mentioned in a video that we were switching over to an electric water pump on this thing, and we just got all of that done. When we switched over to the electric water pump, we had to switch out the K-Series alternator for a CRV alternator that has the same plug. We got a new bracket from K-Tune there, and this puts the alternator in a much better spot than it was before. Uh, the old one used to actually rub on this charge pipe boot right down there, but now the new one is uh, much higher and central, and there's plenty of clearance all the way around that guy. And it looks freaking awesome right there. So we have the electric water pump mounted right down there. And we got rid of all of this stock stuff right there. So we no longer need to use any of that. But we also had to get rid of the heater. Kind of race car when you go electric water pump and no yep. provision. And we, we should need it in Florida. If we ever go back to Colorado in the snow, then uh, we'll just have to run the exhaust into the cabin to keep us warm. <laughs> <laughs> but got rid of that. We should hopefully see some improvements with the cooling because we did put the bigger radiator in the router seat and it helped a lot. We didn't have to pull over at least, but it was still running a little hotter than we would have liked. So we're hoping the electric water pump uh, will help move a little more fluid because we put the electric water pump on the MR2 with that little speed factory radiator and we have zero issues in that. The NSX has an electric water pump, zero issues. Um, so I think the electric water pump might be kind of the key for us. So we'll have to uh, double check and see, drive it around, make sure it's good. But we got all of that done and real quick i was going to show the guys the starters we got so this guy out of the uk named tyler sweet. yeah these are freaking sweet so he sent these and he works at a place called rise carwood or carwood rise um and they make starters for like wrc and time attack cars like custom aftermarket starters and they have a k-series one and they sent us five of these bad boys from the uk and these are the scenes i've been throwing them on everything <laughs> Yeah, we got one on the Routacy yep. and one on, on the, the MR2. MR2. I don't know if you guys noticed in the MR2 video, when I was cranking it, it, Dude, it cranks, cranks fast. so fast. Yeah. So these are twice as powerful as the stock one and they're a little bit lighter. Yeah. And we got five of these bad boys and we're gonna start putting them in everything because it is so nice to have a healthy, strong starter just cranking super fast. Yeah, so they come with everything too. So you get a fancy plug if you're into that stuff. Me. Um, Dude, and check, check this out right there. Engraved, they engraved boosted boys onto the uh, billet flange right there. Got some badass aftermarket starters. Got five of those guys. Yep. And one is now on the van and one is on the MR2. And uh, I think we're about ready to fire this thing up and yeah. give her a crank. I think we can fire her up. Now li listen to how fast this starter cranks this thing over. versus the NSX. Yeah, you're getting me hurt when you get stomped by a minivan, bro. <laughs>
So we're going to be trying to bring the NSX along with the Routacy to the ice cream cruise this weekend. So if you guys are coming out, we will be there with this and the van. And we got some pretty sweet posters made of the NSX. And I was going to show you guys real quick. By the time you're watching this, we will have a limited amount on the site. And I am hand signing all of these. And then we should have some hopefully left over at ice cream cruise. I don't know how many we'll have. So like I said, they're limited. If you guys want to get one, I would do it now. But we got two options here. We got that shot right there. That one's Check fire. that out with the puddle reflection. And then we got this one right here, kind of with the white background. We took this picture in uh, Ybor City, kind of in like a little industrial park area. Like I said, I'll be signing each of these. And I think we're gonna have either or. You can pick one of the two, or we'll just do like a little bundle and you can get both. And then eventually I wanna do some like horizontal ones and stuff. But for right now, these are the two we're starting with. And uh, yeah, I think those came out freaking sweet. These are our first posters we've ever done. So if you guys want to pick one up, they should be on the site. And if you guys are would going I, to Ice Cream Cruise, we should hopefully have a couple as well. Would it be weird if I hung one of those in my room? No. Nah. Because, <laughs> like, that's a fire poster. Yeah, dude, that one, I that really like that. So but they're both sick, but... Right. If I had to pick favorites, though, which I hear you're not supposed to do with your children, I would definitely go with the left. Yeah, I don't but know. But they both turned out pretty dangerous. They're good. sweet. So if you guys want one, grab one before they're gone. I have no idea how many we're going to, you know, sell, so we didn't make a whole bunch of them but grab one do it do it, it now <laughs> well guys we are wrapping this video up with a quick little cruise in the nsx i actually just brought it over to jbr I had to drop off a timing light we borrowed and we had some issues with this thing kind of driving weird it was breaking up down low and it turns out something's going on with the vtc which is the variable cam degree gear um like right now I can actually drive it pretty good. Sounds perfect. Uh, but before I couldn't even do that, it would start to sputter and break up and I'd really have to rev it up to get it going. And then when we set all of the variable cam timing to zero in the tune, it fixed it. And it still has a still has a spot that it doesn't like. Right getting into boost, it's, it kind of sputters a little bit. And then once it's in boost, it's perfectly fine, which is weird. Look, I'm on a random road right now. I'll drop it into third. You'll hear it. It'll kind of, it'll sputter. It'll get through it and go.